appetizing. So, this is for dishwasher, but it also works for the countertops. There's always five steps. One, two, three, four, five. To cleaning or sanitizing anything. Number one, scrape and rinse. Wash, rinse, sanitize, drain, and air dry. Okay? And of course, using warm water at 43 degrees to 49 degrees and a good detergent. All right, everybody. Even for a sink, there is five steps we call it a three three step sink but there's five steps to it which is pre-rinse wash with soap rinse again and sanitize and then drain so we don't have three sinks but we can follow the five steps i will talk further on this washing on my next content okay it doesn't matter hantu mana yang cerita kat you sesebuah kain boleh remove 99% of bacteria please don't believe do your research study balik what is bacteria so guys if we cannot do the five steps at home tak payah nak jadi malas and beli kain yang boleh lap sekali so i am going to teach you the smaller step three step which is scrub rinse and sanitize that also works and it's it work very well with hot or warm water okay so today i'm gonna teach you guys how to clean the countertop according to our sop in the industrial kitchen which i think is pretty good if you guys want to follow at home so every time we close our kitchen uh, is the end of the night what we do is we take our soapy water and sponge okay we always have sponge for tables so you take this and what you do is you have to scrub all of this table every single angle that's why using a stainless steel table is the best senang nak bersih it lasts long it doesn't rust it is safe it's a material yang bacteria lambat sikit merebak okay guys if you use wooden countertop and all that it's a bit it's not suggested for kitchen so when people renovate their kitchen i want them to understand that i know it's pretty kayu kayu ni semua lawa tapi it is actually not safe for the kitchens and bacteria and stuff like to stay in the wood all right get yourself a bucket of plain water put your sponge in there clean sponge make sure it's clean and you use this side okay so what you do is you pull okay the other system you pull so you pull the corners first pull this side okay pull this corners first can the system guys put it in and yeah i make corners dulu don't force because your sponge can only absorb so much so yeah all this mengelap sekali mengelap dua kali Sure, if you like it, but scientifically, guys, it does not make sense. Apa-apa jenis surfaces you need to wipe, bukanlah sekali, but oh, sampai you rasa dah hilang. When I took my degree, the first thing they teach us is this, cleaning. Kalau you tak reti membersih, you can't even be a chef, right? So, can you imagine kalau korang pergi restoran, makan, and restoran tutup pukul 10. Pukul 10 guys, please lah, adalah hati sikit. Takkanlah korang nak keluar restoran 10 setengah. Yes, the waiters and service crew will wait for you because you guys are always right. But guys, kalau you tahu restoran tutup pukul 10, why is pukul 10 korang masih ada kat restoran? We need to clean the kitchen guys. By 9.45, we need to clean the kitchen. If you don't leave by 10 p.m., kita orang balik pukul 12 malam kot. You know, nak cuci table pun tiga kali. I have in the pot warm water, okay, it's warm, tangan I kebal, so you can warm. Okay, you go, give it a good wipe, okay guys, make sure it's warm, not too hot, if it's too hot, pakai tongs, penyepit, okay, yeah, give it another go, usually kadang-kadang I even do this, because I like to rinse it, guys. Okay, before you wipe anything, I nak ajar you how to depart your kain. So, you can actually use your kain 6 kali depan belakang inside out. So, total about 12 times. So, what we do is, and we never wipe the same area twice. So, satu kain is 12 kali. 
So what I do is buat kayak panjang So lipat satu Okay Lipat lagi And we we'll always have this Okay So this side Kalau nak kecil lagi We will return to saving kain kat kitchen We lipat lagi satu So Katalah Spray sini Okay I love Alright So this part dah kotor I have this side Okay I love Now both side dah kotor right Both side dah kotor But I still have This side pula And then I buka-buka I have this side Okay I have this side I have this side So chefs are trained To use rags <laughs> Sebab This is our best friend And usually chefs are given One or two rags je For the whole day So imagine kita kena jaga Time buruk kita orang macam mana Sentiasa basuh Kadang-kadang satu hari tu Basuh kat sinki I think about More than 10 times So orang Faham lah But yeah, that is the standard procedure. That is the SOP for kitchens. All right, with me right now, I have a Dettol and also alcohol. You can use any sanitizer that is safe for food contact surfaces, okay? Any sanitizers that is safe for food contact surfaces. Jangan pergi letak ni dalam makanan. So with me, I got Dettol, simple. And always read the instruction okay what is the measurement that is very important if you overdose on the measurement and you tak baca which a lot out there tak suka baca instructions then it will not be safe for you faham tak if you know how to read instruction it's safe so right here it says four cap full of Dettol to two liters so over here i have a 500 ml so meaning one cup full to 500 ml not lebih okay i've got this problem with my cousins my parents my family they orang pakai cuah je they don't know there's a measurement for things people hire scientists untuk come up with this measurement you know so you put it in there as simple as that so i always have this every kitchen always have a food safe sanitizer in your kitchen so but we need to sanitize everything we can't trust our kain we cannot trust anything okay we have to trust in science which is the sanitizer kalau tak nak opt for the natural sanitizer that can kill bacteria okay but because i was trained in a professional kitchen i memang akan ikut SOPI lah so you spray spray your sanitizer done Get your kain, kain mahal ke, kain murah ke, it doesn't matter, it's just a kain. This is actually my favorite kain. This is 12 years old. <laughs> beli kat lorong ngaji taik, dua ringgit. Okay, because I believe the restaurant. So after you sanitize your table, do give it a good wipe with clean cloth. Okay guys, we can't cheat signs. Signs is signs, you know. That's it. Okay, this actually got me laughing the first semester in my class because we know how and why bacteria grow. We should be able to keep them from growing because we know how bacteria get from place to place. We should know how to keep them from getting into our food. Dang, dang, dang. Keep bacteria from spreading stop bacteria from growing and kill the only way you can kill bacteria is at 77 degrees for 30 seconds or higher temperatures for shorter time okay tolong faham certain chemicals also kill bacteria they may be used for sanitizing equipment another reminder okay doesn't matter hantu mana yang cerita kat you and tell you doctor mana yang cakap kat you or whatsoever said that by wiping with this magical thing can remove 99% of bacteria please don't believe please do not believe because you cannot beat science nobody can beat science these kind of things really blow my mind because benda-benda macam ni will create food hazard at home you will create contamination cross contamination so before you learn to wipe things once okay lap sekali tu 
why don't we learn how to do three steps first, okay?